It started off just like any other summer day for a teenager, waking up in the mid to late afternoon, stumbling out of bed, finding something to eat in the kitchen, and then finding something to waste my time on. I was on my PS3 in Netflix watching that 70s show, when my little sister ran into me asking if she could play with me. I said sure, and suggested I find something we could both watch together, and she nodded with excitement. I searched around for a bit looking for a kid-friendly show or movie that I didn't mind to watch, until I got to Finney Sanferb. My sister and I watched this show together sometimes, and I actually find it quite funny, especially for a show aimed at younger kids. I selected it, and it automatically played the first episode. My sister and I got through about six episodes, and then she fell asleep on me. I carried her to her room so she could nap without me disturbing her and returned to my room. I plopped down on my bed and grabbed the PS3 controller to select the next episode, because I was honestly enjoying it. After it had ended, I went back to the screen, where you could select which episode you wanted to view and I saw one at the very bottom of the list. It was just a pound symbol and a question mark like so number. Which was strange, because on the list it normally showed the number of the episode, the title, and how long the episode was. But there was nothing but the number. Out of curiosity, I selected it. Which was something I will regret for the rest of my life. It started out with the catchy theme song, Nothing Out of the Ordinary. The animation was very poor, oh, almost, as if it were a pilot or something of the sort. But then, the episode itself faded in. Normally, it would chime in with a brief upbeat guitar, but this time there was silence. The camera panned down from pointing up at the sky to Finney Sanford sitting under a tree, as the episode sometimes did. Instead of the normal happy, or at least neutral, expressions on their face, there was a terrifyingly sinister look on Verb's face, which creeped me out so badly, I couldn't look for very long, and a look of absolute pain in Finney's quote. They sat in silence for a good minute and a half, and the camera slowly zoomed into Finney's. His face started to warp, and then return to normal. There were tears welling up in his eyes, and he fell over letting out heavy sobs. The audio alternated between fuzzy and normal. The sobs didn't sound cartoon-like at all, they sounded like they were legitimate, as if something truly terrible had happened. They got louder and louder, until it got so unbearable that I had to grab my remote and turn it down. I continued to watch, though I didn't want to. It was like a car wreck, I just couldn't look away from the screen. For a good bit of time, my eyes met those of herbs. I couldn't break the stare, it was as if he was looking into me. I felt uneasy, as if I were actually being watched. My stomach was clenching, as if it were preparing to empty its contents. That face, it took under a minute to etch itself into my brain for good. The stare was finally broken, when the camera panned out to where they were both visible. Finney started screaming. Why? While he pounded the ground with his fist over and over again. Herb remained silent, while the sinister look on his face became more and more terrifying. The frame abruptly changed to a shot of Finney's hanging by a noose from the tree. As soon as the frame showed up, there was a terrible screeching sound. His eyes were still half open and bloodshot, and the rope was slightly swinging back and forth. Herb was in the exact same spot, unmoved. Herb started to laugh, but the laugh had no audio. Only the screeching was heard. The shot lost color and warped, as Verb continued to laugh. The episode ended. I had no idea what I had just watched. There were tears in my eyes, because I was so frightened. I went to get my mom to show her, but when I tried to replay the episode, it acted as if it was going to load, but redirected to the home screen. I tried for easily 10 minutes to get it to play, but I had no luck. My mom told me I was being ridiculous, and left. I tried to find it the next day, but the number, 
was nowhere to be found. It's been four weeks now, and I've been having terribly violent nightmares ever since. I've also heard voices, and have been having hallucinations. I've talked to a couple psychologists and counselors, but they all say it's due to stress. I don't believe them. It has something to do with the episode. I don't know why it would have been there, or why I seem to be the only one who has seen it, but it has truly messed me up. I still have Ferb's face in my mind. If you ever happen to stumble upon this, please, do not view it. For your own safety, I'm begging you. But if you're naive enough to do so, please contact me.